Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering the box method of division. And this is a different way of doing long division. The process is going to be very similar to the traditional long division method, but the benefit to the box method is organization. This method can help with staying organized throughout the whole process, and it helps to keep all columns lined up. In this specific video, we're going to be dividing by one digit divisors. I'm going to do two examples where we have a three digit number divided by a one digit number, and then two examples of a four digit number divided by a one digit number. So let's start with three digit numbers divided by one digit numbers. So let's jump into number one where we have 426 divided by three. So 426, this is our dividend. It's the number being divided or split up and we are dividing by three, which is our divisor. So we start the box method by drawing out a rectangle here. Now this rectangle is going to be split into three sections, okay, for uh, each of the digits for 426. So three sections here, and we're going to put a digit in each one of those sections. So the four, the two, and the six. So 426. Now the more you do of these, your spacing will get better. You'll improve with the spacing and how you line things up. So the three, our divisor, goes on the outside. So now we're set up 426 divided by three using the box method. We now go through our steps, which are at the top of your screen. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring up, repeat. So these are almost the same exact steps as traditional long division, except we have bring up instead of bring down. So let's start with divide, and we divide four by three. So this four divided by three. How many whole groups of three can we pull out of that four? Well, one. Now we multiply. One times three is three. Subtract, four minus three is one. Now we bring that one up. So we have 12. So we repeat the process now with that 12. So 12 divided by three. How many whole groups of three out of 12? Well, four. Multiply, four times three is 12. Subtract. 12 minus 12 is zero. So we bring up our zero. So we have a six over there. So six divided by three, how many whole groups of three out of six? Well, two. Two times three is six. Subtract, and we get zero. So we do not have a remainder that worked out uh, perfectly there, and we get 142. Now a common mistake would be thinking this down here is the answer, you always look up top for the answer. So 142. So on to number two here, which uh, this one is going to have a remainder. So let's draw our box or rectangle to start off here. And we have three digit dividend, so we need three sections here. 759 and our divisor of eight. So we're set up and ready to go through the process. So the first step, divide. Um, how many whole groups of eight can we pull out of seven? Well, we can't do that. So we need a zero here. Zero times eight is zero. Subtract seven minus zero is seven. Now we bring up that seven and we have 75. So 75 divided by eight. Well, we can pull nine whole eights out of 75. That gets us to 72. So let's put a nine here. Nine times eight, 72. Subtract, 75 minus 72 is three. Bring our three up here. So we have 39 now. So 39 divided by eight. So how many whole groups of eight out of 39? Well, eight times four is 32, and we know eight times five is 40. So five is a little too many, so it's going to be four. Four times eight is 32. Subtract, 
39 minus 32 is 7. So this right here, the 7 is our remainder. So our answer is 94 remainder 7. Next, we're going to move on to four digit numbers divided by one digit numbers. So let's jump right into number one here, where we have 6,815 divided by five. So 6,815 is our dividend. It's the number that we are splitting up or dividing, and we are dividing by five. So five is our divisor. So the first thing we need to do to set this box method up is draw out a rectangle here or box. Now, the more you do of these, the better you will get as far as spacing and having enough room for everything. So once we have that rectangle or box, we need to split it into four sections because 6,815 has four digits. So four sections here, and we need a digit in each one of those sections. So we'll start with the six, then the eight, then the one, and then the five. So once we have that set up, we can put our uh, five, our divisor, on the outside. And our problem is set up and ready to be solved. So we can go through the steps at the top of your screen. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring up, and repeat. So those are basically the same exact steps um, that you use for the traditional long division method, except we are going to bring up with the box method instead of bring down, which you do with the traditional method. So we'll start with divide, and we start with this six here, and we are going to do six divided by five. So how many whole groups of five out of six? One. Then we multiply. One times five is five. Subtract, we get one. Six minus five is one. Now we bring that one up to the next section or column. So we have 18 now, and we need to do 18 divided by five. So how many fives out of 18? Three, that gets us to 15. Now multiply, three times five, 15. Subtract, 18 minus 15 is three. So we bring that three up, and we have 31 now. So we need to do 31 divided by five, which is six, that gets us to 30. Six times five is 30. Subtract, 31 minus 30 is one. Bring our one up to the next section, and we end with 15 divided by five. So how many whole groups of five out of 15? Three. Three times five is 15, and then 15 minus 15 is zero. So that zero there at the end tells us that we do not have a remainder and this worked out to be a whole number. Um, so we have an answer of 1,363. So this top number here is our answer. It's common for people to think that this number down here is the answer, but in reality it is the top number. So always look at the top number for your final answer. On to number two, where we have 1,927 divided by six. So let's set up our rectangle or box here. And we need four sections again because we have a four digit dividend. So 1,927 and six is our divisor. So let's start with our steps divide. So we need to do one divided by six. How many whole groups of six can we pull out of one? Well, we can't do that. So we need a zero here. Zero times six is zero. One minus zero is one. Now we bring that one up. So we have 19 divided by six. Well, we can pull three groups of six out of, um, out of 19. That gets us to 18. So let's put our three here. Three times six is 18. Subtract, we get one. Bring that one up, and we have 12. So 12 divided by six. How many whole groups of 12, or I'm sorry, how many whole groups of six out of 12? Well, two. Multiply, two times six is 12. Subtract, 
12 minus 12 is 0. So we can bring that 0 up and we have 7. So we're going to end with 7 divided by 6. How many whole groups of 6 out of 7? 1. 1 times 6 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1 here. So that 1 is going to be our remainder. So we get 321 remainder 1. I'm going to rewrite our answer here. 321 remainder 1. So there you have it. There's how you use the box method in order to solve a division problem. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.